Assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome for the today lecture today we are discussing about the knee anatomy and today lecture we will discuss meniscus medial and lateral we will discuss anter anterior cruciate ligament we will, we will discuss posterior cruciate ligament and collateral ligaments all these ligaments got very important role in the knee strength so here we discuss today topic first of all knee is the one of the most largest and complex joint in human body we will discuss here some important things first of all we will discuss tendons tendons are the thing that connect knee bones to the leg muscles secondly we will discuss here ligaments ligaments have a very very important role ligaments join the knee bones provide strength and stability to the knee and here if we consider the structure of the uh, structure of the knee and look closely there here there is a meniscus this is called lateral meniscus and this is called medial meniscus if someone have turned his knee then the meniscus will be torn this this will affect the tone of meniscus then we will discuss here two more important thing look at that here this is called anterior cruciate ligament because this is the inner side and posteriorly there is also a cruciate ligament we call this posterior cruciate ligament then there are two most important and then the ligaments we can uh, call this medial collateral ligament this one is a medial collateral ligament and this one is a lateral collateral ligament that is located laterally to the human body and here you are looking uh, first one femur then there is a patella which is called uh, kneecap also and the lower side is located tibia and fibula so this is the whole uh, anatomy of a knee now we will discuss the function of each meniscus ligaments here look at that acl acl stands for anterior cruciate ligament anterior cruciate ligament prevent fever from sliding backward on tibia and if we discuss here pcl pcl means posterior cruciate ligament posterior cruciate ligament prevents femur from sliding forward on tibia so totally these both tools are opposite to each other acl prevents sliding backward and pcl prevents sliding forward on tibia now at the number 3 we have discussed here that medial and lateral coligament this is a lateral coligament and this is a medial collateral ligament so the medial and lateral coligaments prevents femur from sliding side to side it means it prevents the femur uh, from sliding one side to another side then you look at the hair there are two c shaped meniscus hair two pieces of cartilaginous bones c shaped meniscus so if we discuss meniscus here men meniscus act as shock absorber between femur and tibia so uh, femur and tibia meniscus act as shock absorber between these two bones femur and tibia then there is another important thing numerus bursa sometimes uh, in uh, some spaces of the kidney in few sacs uh, fluid is filled and this is called bursitis because filled fluid filled inside the sacs some of the time these fluids help in smooth, uh, smooth uh, movement of knee so after discussing all uh, the anatomy of the knee we will discuss some issues related to the knee first of all if we discuss here knee arthritis in knee arthritis 
patient will feel uh, pain in knee because uh, it's a uh, pain in joints, knee joints. Secondly, knee effusion. Knee effusion means uh, fluid will be filled in the sacs here and the whole, uh, whole knee is filled with uh, almost uh, a little bit fluid and this is called knee effusion. Then this is called meniscus. If one if someone uh, move laterally or uh, having a jerk in knee or any other kind of accidental injury, uh, the meniscus will tear from here, from here, and this will leads the knee injury. And after uh, this injury, the patient cannot move, feels a lot of pain, and uh, sometimes. We will discuss surgery in uh, knee. Then there are two another important thing that is ACL anterior cruciate ligament and posterior cruciate ligament. Anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments will tear from here and here laterally and posteriorly, and the tear in the ACL and PCL will lead the major injury in knee and. Uh, that will uh, disturb the whole uh, knee and the movement of the knee will totally just disturb. Then another important thing that is knee brusitis. There, there will be a lot of swelling in the knee and after swelling uh, there, there would be a problem in uh, knee movements. Gout, sometimes uh, uric acid would be high and uh, in these joints uric acid crystal will be formed and after gout uh, patient will feel pain in knee then another term is called septic arthritis sepsis will be formed in the knee arthritis so uh, this can also lead a major problem in uh, knee then another is uh, condomalacia condomalacia patella uh, this is another problem in which uh, there is a problem in uh, nearby patella and all these problems leads to the knee uh, problem and uh, most of the uh, smoothly smooth movement of the knee is totally disturbed so at last i will discuss another important thing these uh, we will repeat these one if we look at the structure of knee here is this is called medial meniscus because it is located medially to the body and here this point is called lateral meniscus because this point is located laterally to the human body and if there is a tears uh, here between uh, meniscus then the movement would be totally disturbed it then there are you are looking at here that is uh, C-shaped. Look at that. This one is C-shaped. This one is C-shaped. This is called anterior cruciate ligament, and this will be called posterior cruciate ligament. And if there will be tear here anteriorly and posteriorly, so uh, then uh, there would be a lot of pain in the knee. So for the today topic, we have discussed this one. And next topic, we will discuss different lecture. Inshallah. Thank you so much.